And welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. We're just going to jump right in here. We're talking the end of Cutler, and I'm still not thinking I'm pronouncing that right. Please forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. This was a very interesting original Netflix uh, Icelandic show. So this is spoilers. We're talking about the end and kind of little bits of the show and what may happen in the second season. So if you haven't seen the show yet, don't watch this. All right, let's jump in. Throughout the series, we start getting little bits of information that this perhaps is the volcano recreating uh, from folklore, from their folklore, that these may be Dopplers, uh, versions of people that are themselves kind of just appear. They are, they are created, like if you've seen Lord of the Rings, you will see uh, a reminiscent of the orcs being shaped out of mud. And now we get these people that are like kind of breaking and cracking. So when they arrive at the hospital or people find them, they have the skin and you're like, oh, it's like a second skin. You're just like, yeah, that's because they've just been born out of the emotional intensity of the 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 closeness to the sentient volcano i guess uh, to the volcano that's alive creates the need for each person uh what they need and so it's it's lost loved ones it's things they should have done right and so the volcano creating these dopplers giving people a chance uh to fix their mistakes and so by the time we head to the end especially that last ending we have the people that have figured out that, you know, there's something not quite right with their Dopplers, but also they they still want to live. So if you have a double, they've taken their double, one's playing Russian roulette, the other was so dark, the other one is drowning the kid, even darker, uh, the other one is poisoning their wife, or uh, you see the, the two wives drive into, <laughs> like Thelma and Louise drive into the volcano ash cloud, which obviously kills them, or does it? And so we're left with thinking, oh, they've all learned something. They've all, you know, this is the journey. This is what it was for until that last shot where we see the shadows of all the Dopplers. Now, are they the same Dopplers? Because I would say the one person that we saw again right towards the end shot looked like a recreation of a character we've just seen dead. So I don't think it's um, other people that are outside of that. I think it's these people again and the Dopplers again are being reformed. So, are we left to believe that it's not actually about them? Perhaps the Dopplers are there to replace them and there's a higher sentient idea at work uh, said to replace us like uh, body snatchers. And so that's my theory. I think there's more going on than just the initial, oh, it's for us to learn something, especially as now we've got those Dopplers being reborn. So let me know what you think is going to happen in season two if we get a season two. I do hope so. I think there's more to explore in the folklore yet. It's very exciting. Uh, chat to me in the comments below. This is your place to go wild. We can talk spoilers, um, folklore. If you know much about the folklore, chat to us there. If you picked up little bits, like there were bits I was... I was seeing where the guy just killed the crow right at the beginning and then the crow was reborn and it didn't really take very long. Um, we start, as you watch the episodes, you start figuring out, oh, there's more going on in this folklore, in this storyline, perhaps, than just the emotional resonance feeding the volcano and creating these these Dopplers for their purpose. Um, I think there's more going on there. So let me know what you think is happening. Thanks so much for watching this, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.